Hello everyone. So today we are going to start working on the HUD of the of our game for the turn based series. Uh, so here you can see on the right side there are three uh, character stat widgets that we already created added into the screen. So initially we are going to create a HUD widget that will be holding these widgets that represent each player character and we will figure out the dimensions for each widgets and do the necessary changes then after that we will get into how to uh, map each of these widget with the player's characters and how to uh, highlight them based on what character that we are currently possessed on so yeah those are the things we are going to work on today and before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done in my channel from the Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can access everything without any limit. So feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description below. And also here is a full playlist of this series. All the tutorials I add to this series will be added here. So you can follow them and implement everything you see here by yourself too. Okay, so let's get back to today's episode. Okay, so this is what we have worked on so far. We have this and we can switch between our characters and also we can switch the targets as well like this. So yeah, now we started working on this widget to rep represent the character in the heart. Now uh, we are going to start working on integrating this into the heart. So we independently developed this widget, but we didn't uh, add it into anywhere in the heart yet. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna enable common UI because I would need it later on. Ah, it's already enabled here. Okay, nice. So let's create a widget user interface, widget blueprint. I'll use type common activatable widget and let's call it WBP match hard. Now into this. Here I found this image. So I'm gonna use this as a reference. So there are four me for that here. Right. And now in here I'll add the canvas. Sorry. I'll add the canvas panel and then I'll add this image so that we have a reference now let's add a horizontal box Let's rename this image. And the horizontal box should be aligned to the bottom left, bottom right. And as for the size, I'm not sure, maybe point not minus 20 by minus 20. We can change it. And I make it size to content, but before that, if I add this widget, we we are going to add it dynamically, but just to see how it looks, if I add this character stats widget, I know it's gonna be a lot bigger compared to what we are going to have. See, it's a lot bigger. If 
if I make it size to content, it's gonna look like this. And if I add three of them, this is how it's gonna look. So it's way bigger. So that's all right, we can fix it. But first let's find out what's the actual size we're gonna need. Maybe I should have done this step before I start implementing, but it's fine, we can fix it. Let me add this reference. Now I'll add no let's resize this. Maybe two hundred five hundred. Yeah, I think that size is good. But I can't see what's behind. I think this size works. It should come a little downward, but it's fine. We don't need to have it 100%, just roughly around the same size should be fine. So if, so 200 works. And as for padding, maybe to the right. Yeah, yeah I think this size would work. Now that means we need to resize this. So here we have a size box. It wouldn't work right away. Don't worry. 200 by 200. So it's all going to be a bit of a problem, but that's fine. Let's fix it. So this is the reference. So 200 by 200. Now this is the foreground. So we can match this. Hundred works. Right now for the head. So so let me reset this. I'll make it up to eight by up to eight. Still too big. That's fine. now the numbers well just like this you have to readjust the scale yeah i had to adjust the padding and the font size and the outline size as well now we have all the bars and the image and the remaining is these numbers right so i adjusted the text as well now we can fully hide this Edit. Now here is our widget component. Now let's go back here. Instead of these, now I'll add the match heart. Sorry, uh, character stats. The horizontal box and remove this. And I'll add three of them. The right in the spacing 10. Okay, so now this is how it's going to look. Now, if I hide the reference image, this is how it looks. But, uh, now we got the size incorrect but this is not like uh, this is not how i want to add this i want to dynamically add this based on the characters that we have in the match so to do that this is the match hard so we're gonna have to set up a hard system okay so let's go here uh blueprints i'll create a new folder k 
clearly want. And here I'll add a new blueprint class. Add. I'll call it HUD, turn paste, right now, here, let's add another user interface, another common activatable widget. Oh, common user widget also fine. WVP base layout. And here I'll add a widget stack. This one, not this. Common activatable widget is there. I'll call it uh, this stack. Okay. Okay, so for now, we don't need to add anything here. Now let's go back here uh, to the hard we created. Now here, in the begin play, let's create widget and here I'll choose the base layout and I'll add to viewport. So now we are going to add all other widgets into this. Now this is base layout. I promote that that to a variable too. Okay, on in player. Turn in form. Okay, player controller. All right. Now, now into this base layout, uh, we need to push this match hard widget. Oh, for that we gonna need a function. So let's go here. Push widget. Get the base stack. Push widget and here we need to pass the widget class and let's return in case we need a return value let's call it added widget okay now we can use this function in our HUD. Let's call push widget. And I'll by default I'll add this match heart. WBP match heart. Right now I have no need to keep this as a variable. So I'll set this HUD turn based. We don't have a game mode here, but still it's working fine. Yeah, so let's create a new game mode. GM to invest. Okay, now I'll select that. And as the hard class, I'll choose this. All right, now if I play, oh, we got the reference image as well. We don't need that. 
so even though I marked it as hidden here that's not enough I need to to hidden thing is fine yeah see now we have the game and by default we have these three widgets but as I said we have three different characters so we are going to customize the way that we add we are going to add those widgets as well but I will do that in the next episode so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download here in the Patreon page, link would be in description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.